Sometimes when you have a lot of animations going on, like this one, and you want to search for a specific one in the spline editor or the keyframes tab, you take a lot of time. Instead, go over here and check this option, show only selected tools. This way, when you select a node or multiple nodes, it's going to appear instantly and without the others. One of the annoying things that you came across in the Fusion page is the audio of the voiceover sometimes will be missing. So you keep switching between the Fusion and the Edit page to sync your animation. To solve this, click in a blank space, then Shift plus space and add media in. Click on it and in the Inspector tab in Audio, click on Purge Audio Cache and you will be able to hear everything without switching. I think I had just one voice. Another thing in the Fusion page, if the playback is slowing down, oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the you can go over here, then right click and deactivate motion blur and high quality, and the playback will be smoother. And don't worry, because it's not going to affect the export, it's just for the playback. Sometimes you hit Alt to create multiple points here in the edit page, so you can adjust the volume of a specific part of the whole audio. But the first way to do it is go to the fair light page, click on this one, then select the part that you want, then adjust it freely and without any multiple points. When you do the regular cuts by selecting the play tool, then you delete the parts after or before the playhead, and with this you take a lot of time. Instead, you could create keyboard shortcuts and save some time. Go up here and click on keyboard customization. Then search for split clip and change it to W. This way, if you want to do a cut, just hit W. Then search for start to playhead and in the ripple, set it to Q. This way, you can delete everything before the playhead. Then search for end to playhead this time and also in the ripple, change it to E. This time, pressing E will delete everything after the playhead. Another thing to save time is by creating templates, and you can use it in different projects without creating them every time. One way to do it is by using power bins. In the media pool, go up here and make sure show power bins is selected. Down here you can create multiple folders for different kinds of things, for example sound effects and text animation. And if you want to save anything, just grab it and put it inside the folder like this. Also if you want to use this text animation, just grab it and put it inside the text animation folder. And every time when you open a new project and you want to use it, just go to the power bin and drag and drop the text animation or sound effects or even fusion effects that you previously created and gain some time in the edit process. This one if you have a client and every time you create another version of the edit. Go up here and check on this one. Display stacked timelines. A new window will appear, for example if you want to create another version, add another timeline from here and copy and paste your entire edit here and rename it version 2 for example and do your adjustment freely and every time the client wants a specific version you can locate it easily and also you can't lose any important parts. We all know that deleting the silence part take a lot of time, especially if the clip is too long. One of the cool features in DaVinci Resolve is removing that part automatically. Just head over here in clip, down here in audio operation, click on ripple delete silence. You'll notice after this window appears that some parts of the clip is highlighted by red boxes, which are the silence part that the tool detected. You can adjust the threshold, pre-head, post-head, and number of frames to get a pretty close result. When you're done, click on remove, and the silence part will be removed. Of course, you can adjust any other parts that hadn't gone, but as you saw, it gained us some time for other things. This one for color grading. If you want to copy your grid to other clips fast, just select the clips that you want, then head to the one that has been color graded and click on it with the middle bottom of the mouse. And you'll notice that the grid is applied to the all clips. Lastly, if you have a render settings that you applied a lot of times, you can save it as a custom export. When you apply your settings, head over here and click on save as a new preset. Give it a name, choose an icon for it, and make sure to check on add to quick export. And it will appear right here in the custom export and also in the quick export from the edit page. I hope you find this video helpful. If you want a second part, just let me know. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.